I think women historically have been um, oppressed um, when they've just sought, you know, basic things like, like when they've been seen as powerful, you know, and that power can be education, it can be having money, owning land, you know, not marrying, wanting to live outside the norms of their religion. And so historically, if they did any of those things, they're labeled as a witch. Hey there, it's Kristen, and today we're chatting with Elle Callahan, the writer and director of Witch Hunt, which just premiered at South by Southwest. You wrote and directed Witch Hunt. What was that process like? Where did the inspiration come from? I'd always wanted to do a movie about witches, and um, when I finally sat down to write something about it, I did, I did a bunch of research on witchcraft, and what really struck me was how normal it was to persecute women for being witches in the United States and in Europe. And it wasn't just Salem, it was like all over and how like common it was and, and totally acceptable and like logical. Um, and there are actually people that had witch hunter as their job and they would go around and you know, you'd give them some money and they'd snuff out all the witches in your town and then go to the next one and do the same thing. And so I was like, well, this was only, a couple hundred years ago what if we just took everything you know just took that and applied it to you know modern day um what would a movie look like if uh which was witches were real and um you know the government had decided that you know they were a group of people that they wanted to um control because they didn't understand um and that's kind of i just kind of went from there um, I wanted to set it in Southern California because I thought I liked the idea of the witches, you know, trying to seek asylum in Mexico um, to have it be kind of like a reverse border crossing um, mm -hmm. and kind of just grew, grew out of that, uh, that seed. I think women historically have been um, oppressed um, when they've just sought, you know, basic things like, like when they've been seen as powerful, you know, and that power can be education, it can be having money, owning land, you know, not marrying, wanting to live outside the norms of their religion. And so historically, if they did any of those things, they're labeled as a witch. Um, so in this movie, they actually are physically powerful, and that's what makes them witches, and they get the same treatment. You have some um, fun kind of references to some other movies like Thelma and Louise, and I was wondering what kind mm -hmm. of inspired that. It's one of my favorite movies, and I, I really see it as a female empowerment story. Um, and I think it just had a lot of similar uh, story elements to my film. You know, it's like two women that are <laughs> end up going on the run <laughs> because of a, a big misunderstanding, <laughs> even though there was some laws broken. Um, and I just think it's it's such a great film. And when I was thinking about uh, ending it, I've always loved the ending of that film and I just kind of wanted to pay homage to it. This is a story about witches and you also have these two actresses who are kind of famously known for their roles as witches in other projects, Abigail and um, Gideon. So how did that kind of come together? When I first met Abby, she had done um, work on Sabrina, but when I first met Gideon, um, they, she shot the craft actually after she shot this movie, but um, they both were so in touch with kind of like their witchy roots and had such a firm grasp on the characters that it was kind of a no brainer casting them. You know, I've been a big fan of Gideon's work as well as Abby and it was just like, I was thrilled when they liked the script. Um, and we just kind of went from there. You know, we all vibed really well. And I think that's important on a film set, especially, you know, something when it's, you know, we're all so passionate about. It was really special. It, we had a really fun time on set. There's just so many, so many girls around. And, uh, you know, usually it's not like that. Um, so yeah, we had a blast. I was wondering if there's anybody that's like kind of inspired you. Patty Jenkins is a big inspiration to me. I worked on, um, I was a editorial PA on Wonder Woman. So, you know, very lowly position, but I got to see her um, work in the post process. And it was the first time I had worked for a female director. And the first time that the kind of possibility um, kind of hit me that this was something I could do. I had only worked for men up until then. Um, and it was just really inspiring to, you know, watch her kind of live out this 
dream career that I would kill to have. And um, so after that movie is when I left to go um, direct uh, my first film. And, um, you know, I think it's important to have role models that you can relate to because I have, you know, creative role models like Guillermo del Toro is a big style inspiration for me. Um, but, you know, we, we grew up and had very different, you know, we have very different lives. And so, um, but it just felt more personal with Patty to finally see a, a woman do it up close. Um, so, yeah. If you like this interview, you can check out more of my South by Southwest coverage right over here. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.